Welcome to Pine Notes. This is part four of the Clement Cannon Poncho by Lion Brand. What I did to fix my mesh squares is simply anchor. That was all I was missing. So if you think of this as a fisherman's net, you're going to think, I need to anchor that. So how we do that, and I've already started my first stitch here, is going into the very edge of your project, let's chain four up, just like our directions say. I've already got one in there, so here we go, two, three, and four. Four, turn your work, and now go through the middle of your square. Since it's a double crochet, we're going to have to yarn over. Go through the middle of your square, pick up your yarn, and double crochet. Two and two. That simple anchor at the very end would have prevented me from having a wave go through my mesh station. I messed up the first piece and I got pretty good by the time I got to the second rectangle so I was keeping it. I wasn't going to undo any of my work. Now we're going to talk about the fan stitch and this stitch is right here. For a beginner, which means I've crocheted a year and a half about, I've already done a complete and total fan stitch project. Fan stitch is gorgeous when worked all together. So I was pretty confident, beginner's confidence, uh, about doing the fan stitch portion of this project. However, row 12 confused me. I was one of the first ones to get into the Clement Cannon Poncho on Ravelry, which I linked in the details below. And thankfully, uh, Christy Glass, the host and model of this project, showed a diagram of how to do this because row 12 of the fan lace section certainly had me confused. And here it is. This is all it is. So what you're going to do when you're done with your mesh section, which is by my gold hook right here, is simply anchor, chain six, anchor, chain six. And you're skipping, uh, and of course my piece is, my example piece is too short, you're skipping two spaces in between. So this is the start of your fan stitch. This can be seen easily in the fuchsia portion of my project um, to add a little color. Chain six, anchor, chain six, here's your anchor, and so on and so forth. So once you get done with your mesh sections, remembering to anchor down at the end of every mesh, go ahead and run row 12 which is the foundation for your fan stitch and when we come back I'm going to show you what I did wrong on that one so stay tuned and I'll show you how to fix it thanks for watching Pine Notes and make it a great day